everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys Segway Film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So we are on day 11 of my 13 nights of fright. You guys, can we actually get through this? I think we we are. I'm starting to get cocky again. Today we're going to be talking about 28 weeks later. So 28 Weeks Later is rated R. It came out in 2007. It is a hard thriller. It is an hour and 40 minutes long. We have three pretty big actors starring in this movie. Well, maybe not necessarily starring, but you know, are in this movie. Of course, during this time, they weren't as big as they are now in 2020. Uh, but that would be Rose Bryant, uh, Jeremy Renner, and Idris Elba. Oh, such a hottie. We also do get Harold... I'm not even going to attempt to say his last name, but if you watch Lost, he plays Michael from Lost. Robert Carlyle, who plays Don, Imogene Poots, who plays Don's daughter, and Macintosh Muggleton, who plays Andy, who is Don's younger son. I'm pretty sure I'm switching <laughs> his name as well. Of course, this is the sequel to 28 Days Later. Um, if you guys are new, welcome to my channel. Day... 10 i have to remember what day it was that is my 28 days later review so after you watch this video you can head over and watch uh, my thoughts on that one honestly for it to be a sequel that we got i think it was like four years later it's a pretty darn good sequel to be honest with you and you know that sometimes sequels are not really the best well, 28 weeks have passed obviously rage virus has taken out britain so they end up bringing the u.s soldiers to come and kind of like rebuild and repopulate not in the way that the military was trying to do in part one with the raping situation no they were just literally trying to bring the, the families back to a secure location that they had acquired i did kind of get ahead of myself let me let me rewind it a little bit to the beginning it is such an intense opening scene like this is how you start a freaking movie they let some kid come inside their cottage and what was that kid doing he was running for the damn zombies and what does he do yeah the damn zombies come into this cottage that they're being protective and that's where we see meet dawn and he's with some other people we meet his wife that motherfucker you <laughs> That's fucked up though. But he leaves his wife, you guys. So like, can you really blame him? Because honestly, I feel like I would do the same thing. And I told you guys in the last video, you know, you gotta be smart. They end up finding the mom, but it turns out that she did get bit, she's infected, but she has some sort of like genetic gene that prevents her from fully converting into like the rage virus. Like she has some in her. So of course we got the military. So we kind of come, come back over here to the whole military section of it. They of course quarantine her. They're trying to like, study her to see if they can find a cure again I'm, I'm, I'm really trying not to get too much into it at the end we're really trying to get these kids to safety because they're very very valuable because it's like who has that genetic gene like the mama does do both of them have them does one of them have it do none of them have it again i'm trying not to really give you guys too many spoilers in case you haven't seen the movie because i did go way too much into 28 days later so let me not really spoil it here for you jeremy renner again it comes on this movie he's one of the military men um i think it's pretty funny he's like a little sniper and i'm like it was this your audition tape for hawkeye because of course now he's hawkeye but you know he has like more of that moral compass towards him because there are certain situations when again we have that outbreak a second outbreak that happens within these quarantine sections because again this virus super quick certain orders are being led and there's like a big ass massacre that happens it's a bigger budget also in this movie so we of course we have more fancier stuff that are that are happening so 28 weeks later it's going to get a medium popcorn rating um again it's a great great movie it's a great sequel i just i do prefer 28 days later if you've seen 28 weeks later let me know down below what did you think about it did you like the show did you hate it was it just not for you um do you prefer uh 28 days later or do you prefer 28 weeks later of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new I'll see you guys tomorrow to talk about Coraline. Bye.